What's going on, it's the Rap Nerd, and I'm finally back in my office. I feel like I'm back at home. But anyway, I'm here today to talk about J. Cole's latest project that just dropped called Might Delete Later. The album's been out for about a week and some change, and there's been a lot of controversy that's been going on, you know, in regards to his diss record, with a reaction to the diss, and all this beef going on. And I meant to put this out the same weekend it dropped, but the apology kind of threw me off. I can't front. It made me tight. You know, I'm still a little bit like, eh, about it. I'm not as tight as I was because now I understand where he's coming from. I've even discussed it in the other video about the beef. So I, I, I get where he's coming from, especially seeing how ugly things have turned now. He don't want no parts of that. I still think it was a bad move to do that publicly. It's going to tarnish his legacy. But all in all, can't knock the guy. So like I said, I never got to talk about this album. So this is just going to be me reviewing slash just talking about the album because I think it's fucking great. It is amazing. It, that's why it baffled me so much that he did that because to me he's been proving that he's been the best MC rapping but this album right here is the proof in the pudding that J. Cole is the best rapper out right now and excluding the legends who still pop up and do things not talking about them or the seasoned vets but in the new generation and the active guys J. Cole is easily the best rapper right now usually I have the fo a phone looking at the track list to talk about the album. Not doing that here. You know, for one, it's been out long enough so people know the record. And I know the record so much because I listen to it so much. I've listened to it every day since it's dropped. So the record pops off with Pricey, you know, having that Young Dro sample on it with that, you know, slow, uh, vibey beat. And off rip, the first bars are just wicked lyricism. I change up my whip to more than Rick and Morty, change dimensions. Never interested in dressing Goldie, bitch, cause listen, where I'm from, bullets feed those who starving for retention. <sighs> and then the switching up the, or the flows and doing the, the double time. And then, and then he gets the assist by Ari Lennox on the hook, which I really love, especially what she's saying. I just like how he's recontextualizing what gangster means to him. You know, being a man and standing on man shit is with a gangster to him. And I agree. So I, I love that song just for, for, for that purpose alone. Excellent intro, and I'm not going to be going over every single track, just giving my, my highlight reel of what I thought was just amazing, because the whole album, it slaps to me. So, my next favorite track on here is Ready 24. It's my favorite track, period, just because I love that beat. Ever since Dipset did it, I love that beat, so to hear him rap over that beat and kind of add like a little bit of a drum under it to kind of make it go in, in the direction of trap, loved it, and just the bars on here. His first verse is just... One of the craziest things I've heard from any MC in the past years, his wordplay, the similes, the metaphors, the stacking of the multi-syllable rhyming. Round here, boys, line up for Glocks. Yeah, they talk shit, one look, all shit. For instance, outline your socks. Poor decision, mortician, alpine in your box. Think you about to get the shit over the counter, you not. My nigga wicked with the wrist, he whip it out of a pot. No prescription for the shit, you can't just dial up a dot like that whole structure right there of just him going crazy and then the fact that when he ends it you hear him laughing like ooh shit he knows he's nice like honestly that right there that song is top level lyricism of what he's doing I like hunting rabbits I love this, this the slow beat and kind of just how it's kind of like just just some rider music but in, in a way he's just Gliding over that beat is utterly ridiculous, bro. Like, I'm about to get fly like my layover coming. Empty them shots. Pop, 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 pop. Not a clip looking like Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. Like, what? He is wigging the fuck out right now. And also, I like the, the more upbeat joints. They could play towards the radio, but I don't think that's what he was doing. I, I think this album was definitely him having fun. You can hear a, a little bit of a Drake influence here, especially with stealth mode, FYB. I feel like... Like, like getting into that London drill music or even the neo drill, whatever, whatever you, you 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 know describe it as the kind of same sound. But him rapping over those beats again, proving that he can rhyme over anything. But I think there were fun records that he probably was chilling with Drake or doing a stu in the studio with Drake and was like, yo, you, you should rap over this. It might sound good on you. And lo and behold, destroyed both those beats. Even one song that I know a lot of people don't like, Fever, it's not necessarily a bop of mine per se, but he was having fun, and I actually don't mind it at all. You know, I think he knows that's not really his bag, and that's why it's only one verse. But again, that's the only song that I feel like he lets up on the pedal when it comes to rapping. Like, shit is 
just crazy. I love the last record, Straight the Truth and the Bees are lit, I like that beat. I like the way he's, he's again, rhyming and giving it up with the, with, the, with the triple stack flow on this soulful, slow paced beat to keep the interest alive, like overall. And of course, all the joints that he released prior, like Crocodile Tears is still a fire record. I mean, I reacted to that. That, that is even harder here on the album when you would, you know, go from pricey to that. 3001, another one that just is utterly like, ah. I'm sitting here shaking my head a lot because what he's doing with the pen is just fantastic to me. Like J. Cole for me is the last rapper who's nice in the traditional aspect, personally. Metaphors, punchlines, multi-syllable rhyming, I say all of that a lot, but it's true. Like I think he's so good at what he does that all of that stuff gets overlooked. Like when people say he's boring, I do not understand it. I'm like, are you listening to what's being said? Like, are you? This man rhyme tears that they don't see. That's three syllables for a good eight bars. I'm the one these niggas feel on the low ski. Acting like they'll be some peers, but they grossly mistaken and they hating. Crocodile tears, niggas know I'm on a tear that they don't see. My niggas crying with his tears and emojis. Like, I think that that's incredible. I, I send the flowers to the way he's rapping. And like again, another verse that's just crazy is Pi. I don't know how you hear these records and don't give Cole his respects. I think that that shit right there, for him to be on a track with Daylight and Absol sw swapping off, and these dudes are spiritual, lyrical, like Joe Button said, and he has his own verse, and I think he did better than them on the verse. Honestly, bro, like... What's the line he said? I'm literally fin to never wallow in drama that could bring me a dilly potential. Like, I, fire, fire. And then another record, Sticks and Stones, just the, just the, the, again, the bars are crazy here. Verse for real, Sticks and Stones may break bones, but saying my name in a verse could kill. Mm. And I hope somebody jumps out and tries to test Cole because like I said, I think Cole, he just is, he, he is done competing with Drake and Kendrick because he just, he said what he said about it in the podcast that he stripped it away from them because he just messes with both of them on the real level as friends so he don't compete with them. But the rest of these niggas, jump out. Feel for all game leap and I feel like Cole will smash the hammer on you. And speaking of hammer, just the bar from that record when he was like, he's like, everyday killings on the streets is random. Murder galore, turning the sword, gotta keep a hammer. Like, bro, the rhyme pattern here. Killings on the streets is random. Murder galore. Turn in the door. I gotta keep a hammer. Bullets rain from place to place. The neighbors don't know who sent them shits. It's like a secret Santa, like. So, I could talk about this album, EP, mixtape all day. I loved it. It's my favorite album of the year, and it's gonna be my favorite album of the year. The only person who could probably knock it off well there's only a group a few group of people that could outdo this album for me if push drops this year or if Royce to 5'9 drops this year or somehow Jay-Z drops which I don't see happening those are the only three that could knock this album off the top of my rap list this year because this is everything that I wanted from a hip-hop album this is everything that I wanted bro and yeah it's a lot of Aimless bars in a sense, you know, shooting here and there, but that's what a mixtape is supposed to be. That's what an EP is. One thing that I can always expect from Cole is he's gonna rap at a high level to the point where it just has to be studied and mastered. And I hope when he's done and throws in the towel and he stops rapping, people will appreciate his raps anymore and they take his verses and put them in class because for me personally, the way I look at MCs, you have not good, average, above average, nice, and then God tier. This album put Cole in the God tier MCs for me, and he's one of my favorite MCs of all time. I don't know where he, he he's at, but he's definitely top 20 after what he just did here, because I don't even hear cats that I grew up with listening to rhyme like this, what he did on this tape right here. So I got much respect to Cole, still my favorite. Yeah, I just had to talk about it. In the words of Cole, you know, it just hurt my spirit, you know, look, going through my YouTube, looking at all the stuff I've talked about this year, and I haven't spoken about this album. I cannot not do that because this album is fire to me, man. I love it. 
still listen to it and will be listening to it. Like I want to buy the physical copy. That's how much I love it. So anyway, if you've listened to the album, which I'm sure you have, let me know in the comments what you think. What's your favorite track? Mine is Ready 24, of course. And if you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, thank you. Until next time, peace. Rap nerd productions, no capping, that's word to mommy.